Il Vaticano, un grande puttanaio, non scandalizzatevi di questa parola, anche il Papa ha detto una cosa simile, anche usando un'altra parola, però va bene. Sono note a tutti le vicende di questi giorni, il Presidente dello IOR, Istituto per le Opere di Religione, che è stato decurato, di Fenestra, Ernesto Gotti tedeschi, un pezzo grosso della finanza, già qui, già qui. E poi la storia e la vicenda del corvo che sarebbe stato scoperto, ma dietro a questo povero Cristo del Maggiordomo ci sta ben alto, è un capo espiatorio. Dunque, Dunque, non sono molto sono lontano, lontano da lontano, dire lontano, che è un grande puttanaio. D'altronde, perché, perché dobbiamo meravigliarci quando il Vaticano per anni e anni, anni, anni è stato connivente con, con il porco d'arco, con, con, con il capo di governo, che governo, forse qualcuno si dimentica. Andando con i ladri si impara a rubare, andando con i porci si impara ad essere porco. Andando con i mafiosi si impara ad essere mafioso, andando con i criminali si impara ad essere criminali. Ma vorrei... Beauty of consciousness is an energetic field that governs the shaping of organisms. Morphogenesis is a scientific term to explain this very shaping of tissues, organs, and entire organisms. Consciousness is the creative force of the entire universe. It has been given many names, such as God, Yahweh, Krishna, nature, the field, and the given. The entire universe is in fact a single matter of conscious awareness, with complete awareness of itself. The reason why it may seem difficult to comprehend this is because our understanding is typically limited by our language. When we hear the term conscious organism, we tend to enter the more conscious definition by giving it human qualities we mistakenly look past what an organism truly is in the first place. The definition of an organism is being a living thing, capable of response to stimuli, reproduction, growth and development, and maintenance of homeostasis as a stable whole. How a universe does all of these things. The consciousness of our universe is responsible for the form and purpose that all matter assumes. The Earth's resonant frequencies are a result of its form. These frequencies are responsible for biological rhythms, such as menstrual and circadian cycles, as well as behavioral and emotional patterns. The frequencies are then picked up by the flora and fauna, which are biological instruments that respond to the wave patterns. The wave patterns resonate in the cranial structure of our head and converge in the center of our brain, which is where we find the pineal gland. The pineal gland is believed in many cultures to be the spiritual clear eye responsible for intuition. Descartes called it the seat of the soul where mind and body meet. Each individual cell in our body receives an electromagnetic impulse from our central nervous system. They receive the very same impulse that was disseminated to every biological instrument from the earth. An explanation of our conscious universe has been attempted by religion, science, and philosophy. The neglect of biological nature from any organism causes illness. A divorce from nature, exile from Eden, and founding of tongues. They are all symptoms, not of a biblical god or deity, but the true self. The greatest and only threat to ourselves is a loss of self, the death of our divinity. As we barrel through history with oceans of information, yet barely a drop of wisdom, we have to understand how we lost ourselves. sacred texts and ancient scriptures left by our ancestors, we find an incredible link between stories of creation, the great flood, the war of the gods, the Messiah dying from the sins of man, end time prophecies and similar characters. These correlations show up in myths from cultures that supposedly had no contact with one another due to distance in geography and time. Due to distance in geography and time. 
common thread we find that connects all of mythology is its roots in the stars. One of the most revealing accounts is the battle of the gods in heaven and the ensuing flood. In the Bible, Lucifer rivaled the Lord and was defeated and cast down to earth. In the creation myth of the moon Elish, we find a similar story of Tiamat being defeated by Marduk and cast down to the abyss of Absu. In chaos, Tiamat, the mother of them both, Absu and Tiamat's waters were mingled together. Meaning that the chaotic waters of Tiamat were somehow mixed with the sweet waters of Absu. Absu was the Samaro Achaean god of the abyss beneath the earth. Tiamat, also known as Lucifer, was known as a serpent or dragon and was defeated by Marduk. Marduk was the father of Nebo or Mercury. And Mercury is the same mythological character as the Zoroastrian Mithra, the Egyptian Hermes Amigas, and the Gnostic Hermes Christos. The most recent version of Mercury, however, is the Archangel Michael in the Bible, who defeated Lucifer and sent him to the abyss of the earth, or hell. This story is steeped in astrological significance in the Bible and in many other ancient scriptures. This leads to an event in history that is recorded by many researchers regarding the cosmic upheaval and historic values. William Thomas Beaumont states, The flood immortalizes the collision of a fallen planet, later termed Satan, actually a cometary body without Earth. Consider what this reveals. He postulates that a planet, later termed Satan, fell to the earth creating the flood we see recorded in the Bible and other myths. Lucifer, or Tiamat, was a planet known to ancient cultures as the glistening one, the dragon of chaotic salt waters. The light from the sun illuminated this planet's water which gave it a glow that rivaled the sun's own light, which is where we hear about Lucifer rivaling the Lord. The Lord in this case being the sun, which sustains and gives warmth to the earth. The planet Tiamat or Lucifer was destroyed by a cataclysmic event that pulled the watery planet to the abyss of the earth. In the book of Enoch, it reveals, And behold, a star fell from heaven, and when it fell to earth, I saw how the earth was swallowed up in a great abyss, 